Sophie. I'm Gorsa. Our topic is about cell culture models in droplet-based macrofluidics. Uh, we are covering these contents in our presentations. So, um, cell micro encapsulation is a technology that enrolizes cell in a physically isolated micro, micro environment so it can be protected from the outside environment and maintain their cellular functionality. Micro beads are generated from a mostly hydrogen material, which they are biocompatible and they are porous. So, um, the techniques that can be in, can used for uh, micro beads are uh, droplet generation technique. Uh, which is T-junction, flow focusing, and co-flow. T-junction is simple, and flow focusing we can uh, create small droplets and channel width, and co-flow we have less contact with a uh, wall. These are our research that they um, had successful results to uh, uh, encapsulate it and did the cell culturing um, for humans, MCS, through the PEG uh, bit and uh, by flow focusing and the, the right side they use the flow focusing and, and T-junction and there are uh, many uh, different materials that can, can be used as a as a, uh, um, hydrogel beads uh, but mostly uh, common is alginate which is uh, cr which cross-linking method is simple uh, there are Three classification of micro droplet based 3D cell culture models single cell encapsulation, multicellular spheroid formation, and cell latency CMB. And I'm going to talk about an application from each category. First one is a single cell analysis. Um, DNA and RNA can be amplified within droplets by lysing the cells. In this model, nucleic acid from single frosted cancer cells in micro droplets were identified and analyzed using PCR activated cell sorting. Uh, you can see two different cell lines being put in a micro droplet, uh, but only the prostate cancer cells express the women in mRNA. A microfluidic chip then uh, processes the cells, making them uh, making the lysate ready for PCR and droplets are sorted uh, based on positive Tachman probe fluorescence. Another application is uh, multicellular spheroids, and the 2D model is being replaced by the 3D model because uh, it better mimics the in vivo microenvironment with cell-cell uh, interactions. Uh, in this model, uh, you can see the droplets entering the docking array before gelation and there's a T-junction also for the uh, droplet formation and uh, in part F you can see the live cells uh, stained as uh, green. Uh, another application is the cell latin ECM. Uh, most cells in human body are connected to their neighboring cells via ECM, allowing interaction and communication. In this model, they fabricated cell latin collagen microbeads. Um, you can see in a sketch of the droplet microfluidic chip for generating 3D microtissues. And each storage chamber has one 3D microtissue containing single or multiple cells. Uh, future perspective uh, for droplet-based uh, cultures uh, is that it's a cost effect it could be cost-effective and highly reproducible model for drug discovery and development. Limitations are a uh, high chance of contamination uh, during cell culturing process requires technical skills and cannot meet the requirement of larger scale production at this point. Thank you.